Hi and welcome to story time. Today we're going to read books all about ABCs. And ABC books are a great way to learn your alphabet as well as some really fun vocabulary words. And our first book is ABC Kids by Basher. Arthur's angry aunt ate apples. Brianna bounces beautiful bugs. Bug. What letter is that? That's a B. You're right. C. Claude's crafty cuckoo. Or cuckoo collects coins. Cuckoo. Dexter's dog dances dreadfully. D. Edna's elegant elephant enjoys Easter eggs. E. Elephant. Franklin frightens Finnish fish. F. Fish. Gertrude's greedy goat gobbles grapes. Goat. Henry's horrible hairy hat has huge holes. Hat. Iris is irritable in icy igloos. I. Igloo. Jasper juggles juicy jellyfish. J. Jellyfish. Kitty's kangaroo kicks koalas. K. Kangaroo. Leonard's lobster loves licking lollipops. L. Lobster. Maud's mean monkey makes marvelous milkshakes. M. Milkshake. Nancy needs new noodles now. N. Noodles. Olga's octopus owns oodles of opals. O. Octopus. Prudence paints pumpkins pink. P. Pumpkin. Questions quivering quails. Q. Quail. Randolph rides red roosters. R. Rooster. Sydney scares slimy slugs. S. Slug. Tim's tortoise tickles tadpoles. Tortoise. Ursula's uncle unicycles underwater. U. Unicycle. Vera vacuums various vegetables. V. Vegetables. Walter's worms wear white wigs. W. Worm. Xavier X-rays xylophones. X. Xylophone. Yoko's yucky yellow yak yells yo. Y. Yak. Zack zaps zeppelins. Z. Z zeppelin. And that is the end of the alphabet. Our next book is a word game. So see if you can guess the words as we read through it and say them all out if you want. It's called Take Away the A by Michael Escoffer. Without the A, the beast is best. Without the B, 
The bride goes for a ride. Without the sea, the chair has hair. Without the D, dice are ice. Without the E, bears stay behind bars. Without the F, the scarf hides a scar. Without the G, the glove falls in love. Without the H, three climb a tree. Without the I, stairs lead to the stars. Without the J, jam, I am. Without the K, the monkey makes money. Without the L, plants wear pants. Without the M, the farm is too far. Without the N, the moon says moon. Without the O, four wear fur. Without the P, the plate is too late. Without the Q, the Farquaad goes to the fair. Without the R, the crab hails a cab. Without the S, snow falls now. Without the T, boats carry boas. Without the U, my aunt is an ant. Without the V, seven are seen. Without the W, the witch has an itch. Without the X, foxes are foes. Without the Y, yours is ours. Without the Z, we cannot sing our ABCs. is the end. Do you know how to sing the ABCs? Why don't we give it a try? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job! Clap for yourself. You did such a great job. Our next book that we're going to read is You're Adorable by Martha Alexander. A. You're adorable. B. You're so beautiful. <clears throat> C, you're a cutie full of charms. D, you're a darling. And E, you're exciting. And F, you're a feather in my arms. C, you look good to me. H, you're so heavenly. I, 
you're the one I idolize. Jay, we're like Jack and Jill. K, you're so kissable. L is the love light in your eyes. M N O P, I could go on all day. <clears throat> Q R S T, alphabetically speaking, you're okay. You made my life complete. V means you're very sweet. W X Y Z. It's fun to wander through the alphabet with you to tell you what you mean to me. And you are all very special in your own ways. And our next book is a new alphabet book called The Alphabet's Alphabet, written by Chris Harris. Has anyone told you you look like your mother? Or you and your best friend resemble each other? When I was a boy, I heard that. I'd shriek, I can't just look like myself. I'm unique. But all of us seem like our loved ones some days, and sometimes it shows in the silliest ways. The sound of our snoring, the shape of our toes, the face that we make when we eat something gross. We all look like family, so could it be true the alphabet's really a family too? For all the letters from A on through Z can look like each other in some way to me. An A is an H that just won't stand up right. A B is a D with its belt on too tight. A C is a G with its mustache, mustache shaved clean. A D is an R peeking over a screen. An E is an F who wore, who on skis is quite fetching. An F is an A with one leg up for stretching. A G is a Q that has started to yawn. An H is a U with a pair of stilts on. An I is a W just being shy. A J is a P giving backflips a try. A K is a Y with its hat in its hand. An L is an X waving help in quicksand. An M is an N with a cane for support. An N is a Z doing push-ups for sport. An O is a C with its mouth closed and quiet. A P is a D that just went on a diet. A Q is an O that did not tie its laces. An R is a K with a mask where its face is. An S is an S. It just is and that's that. A T is an I in a fancy new hat. A U is a J that's all slouched in a chair. A V is an M that just cut its long hair. A W is an E laying down for a break. An X is a V staring into a lake. A Y is a T with its hair raised in fright. A Z is an L in a tug-of-war fight. To 
26 letters unique from each other, and yet every letter looks just like another. The same way that we are each special creations, and yet still resemble our friends and relations. In those whom we love, bits of us are reflected, which helps to remind us that we're all connected. I'm even connected to you. I know. Wow. The alphabet's alphabet makes it clear now. And that comes in and says, I look like you. And the next story we've got is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Martin Jr. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We said D to E, F, G, I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Here comes H, up the coconut tree. And I and J and Tagalong K, all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L M N O P and Q R S and T U V. Still more W and X Y Z. The whole alphabet of the. Oh no! Chicka chicka boom boom. Skit scat scoodle doo flip. Flap flee, everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears and then dust their pants. Help us up, cried ABC. Next from this pile up is skinny D and stub toe E and patched up F. Then comes G all out of breath. H is tangled up with I, J and K are about to cry, L is knotted like a tie. M is looped, N is stooped, O is twisted, alley-oop, skit scat scoodle doot, flip flop flee. Look who's coming, it's black eyed P, Q, R, S and loose tooth T. Then U, V, W, wiggle, jiggle, free. Last to come, X, Y, Z, and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. And our very last story for today's ABC Storytime is titled Every Little Letter by Deborah Underwood. And this is also a brand new book at the library. Once upon a time, there was a city of letters surrounded by walls. The letters were all the same. What letter is it? H, you're right. Their conversations were pleasant, but not very interesting. The H's felt safe behind their walls. They knew other letters lurked outside, different letters. The H's had built the walls around their city long ago to protect themselves and the H's were happy enough, except for one small curious H. She wondered what the other letters looked like. She wondered what they ate. She wondered if they even existed. One day, a small H found an opening in the wall. She peered through it and saw an eye. The eye did not look dangerous, it did not look scary. The H slowly reached her hand through the opening. The I reached out too. 
And together they made something extraordinary. Hi! Did you know letters? When you put them together, they make words. But Big H saw, and soon the wall was sealed up again. The small H missed her new friend. She had an idea. She sent him some letters. Lots of letters. But one flew astray. The idea spread from one small letter to another. The extra's tic-tac-toe games became much more exciting. The bee's playground was full of surprises. And the wise finally got some answers. But the big letters found out. The little letters had no words to describe their sadness. The H had only a small D and a small N she managed to hide away. Why were the big letters so afraid? The situation seemed hopeless until she looked at things differently. Look, she turned the letters the other way. It spelled up. H spread the word up. Night fell. And day dawned. Together. But the big letters were still afraid until one reached out. Then another and another. How do you tear down walls? With words at first. Courage. Kindness, then brick by brick. Cooperate, help, give. After the walls came down, the letters were silly together. Play, slide, snickerdoodle, and serious together. Trust, listening, friendship. And finally, they discovered the most important word of all, love. And that is the end. Thank you for joining me for story time this week. We'll see you again next week. Bye.